Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we're just going to see how to draw an invert of circle. Condition is string length. The string length is 135 mm. It's less than the circumference of the circle, which is 157.07 mm. Question is, the condition as we saw earlier, string length less than circumference of the circle. An inelastic string of length 135 mm, so string length is 135 mm, is bound around <coughs> the circle of 50 mm diameter. So circle diameter is 50 mm. Draw the path traced by the end of the spring and also draw the tangent of normal 115 mm from the center of the circle. First step is since the diameter of the circle is 50 mm, so take your radius of 25 mm and draw a circle. Then divide the circle into 8 equal parts. Keep your protractor at point C, center C, and take 45 degree, 45 degree. Likewise, you divide uh, 360 degree divided by 8 means you will be having 45 degree and divide the circle into 8 equal parts. The next step. You have to draw the circumference of the circle. Circumference of the circle is pi d. So pi into diameter is 50. You will be getting an answer of 157.07. So draw the circumference of the circle line for 157.07 mm. Now we going we need to divide the circumference of the circle into 8 equal parts. For that, just draw a line inclined to it. The angle should be 30 degree. And try to divide the inclined line into 8 equal parts, taking an equal length of 10 mm. Take your compass. Take 10 mm and place your compass at 8 and cut an arc. Similarly, you cut for 8 arcs and divide this inclined line into 8 equal parts. Then join this last arc to the end of the circumference of the circle. Similarly, you join the other arcs parallel to this. These lines should be very parallel. So automatically the circumference of the circle will be divided into 8 equal parts and name it as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, and so on. So naming for circle is 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. I'm just giving uh, in question they clearly mentioned that the uh, string length is less so string length will be 135 mm which will be very lesser than the circumference of the circle so you'll be getting a point on the circumference of the circle that point is called p so distance from 8 to p is 135 and 8 to 8 dash is 157.07 which is nothing but circumference of the circle now take your compass take a radius of 1 dash to p Take your compass, place your compass at 1 dash and take the distance to P. Now you place your compass at 1. Now you place your compass at 1. Previously, I have just missed one step. Uh, here, you, we need to divide, we need to draw perpendicular lines, right? So keep your protractor at 1. That is, take C1 as your base and 1 as center. Draw a 90 degree line, perpendicular line. Similarly, C2 as base, 2 as center. Draw a perpendicular line. C3 as base, 3 as center, draw a perpendicular line. C4 as base, 4 as center, draw a perpendicular 90 degree line. C5 as base, 5 as center, draw a perpendicular line. C6 as base, 6 as center, keep your rotate upside down and draw a 90 degree perpendicular line. C7 as base, 7 as center, draw a 90 degree line, perpendicular line. C8 as base, 8 as center, if you draw means you will be getting on the circumference of the circle circumference of the line itself so no need to draw for eighth point now you take a radius of one dash to p take radius of one dash to p keep your compass at one and try to cut an arc then two dash to p take a radius of two dash to p place your compass at two and cut an arc then three dash to p keep your compass at three and cut an arc four dash to p keep your compass at four and cut an arc 5 dash to p keep your compass at 5 and cut an arc 6 dash to p keep your compass at 6 and cut an arc 7 dash to p is very small distance take the distance keep your compass at 7 and you cut an arc on the seventh line and automatically try to the, the, when you join the curve it should touch the circle the next step is naming for the arcs so name this arc as p1 it since it's line p1 right so p1 this line is 2, so P2, this is 3, respectively, write P3, P4, P5, P6, so on. Uh, just try to rub the uh, remaining portion. Here we will be having some extension, right? So just rub it. Here some extension, just rub it. And finally, you will be having like this. And next step is try to join here. Try to join all the points. If you join means join P. P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7 and the end of it try to join with the circle. The ending will be 
there will be a small gap and try to connect with that circle it should touch the circle because string will be winding from the circles so just connect it uh, it should be a smooth curve uh, you have to use hb pencil for drawing this smooth curve it should be very dark your curve should be very dark next is drawing tangent normal they are clearly given 150 mm from center of the circle take 150 mm keep your compass at c and try to cut an arc on the curve try to cut an arc from the opening side of the curve this is the opening side of the curve so try to cut on the right hand side mostly right hand side don't prefer this side try to cut a right hand side so c as center 150 mm as radius state uh, if you cut the arc on the curve name that point as m now cm join that cm with the very very uh, i mean uh, use 2h pencil for drawing these lines it should be very light cm you have to bisect the line cm so if you bisect mean you will be getting half of the distance and place that place a point there and name it as o now take your compass take a radius of o to m the radius should be o to m and uh, you have to place your compass at the center point o to m as radius o as center try to draw a semicircle try to draw a semicircle and that semicircle will be cutting the circle it will be cutting at a point at the circle just mark that point just try to mark that point and that point is called as n and you have to join nm listen here actually your naming is missing uh, you have to join this point and you have to join with the point m the semicircle will be cutting the circle just fix that point and try to join with m and name this point as n and try to extend it and name it as n dash so n n dash will be your normal for drawing tangent n n dash as your base m as center draw a 90 degree line towards left as well as backwards so n n dash as your center m n n n n dash as your base m as center keep your protector and draw a 90 degree line you will be getting your tangent tangent should touch only at one point on the curve so t t dash is your tangent dimensioning is try to draw an extension line away from the diagram now we going to dimension the diameter of the circle diameter is 50 mm so 550 so dimension line should be to uh, extension line should be in 2h pencil dimension line should be h pencil arrow head should be traced to one it should be sharp pointed and uh, closely close to one and you uh, have to use hp pencil for drawing the arrow heads then we need to dimension the circumference of the circle which is i think 157.07 you try to draw an extension line away from the diagram it should be you have to leave 1 mm gap and then you have, you have to draw the dimension line like this and uh, arrow head you just try to maintain it you see to it that both the arrow heads are of same size then try to dimension for string length string length is 135 mm same way try to draw an extension line from the point p and name just dimension as as i shown below uh, dimension line and extension line should be very very light extension line should be 1 mm away from the diagram for dimension lining you have to use h pencil for extension line you have to use 2h pencil you will be drawing this diagram in your a3 sheet the heading is as i mentioned above length of the string length of the string less than the circumference of the circle and its inlet of circle uh, height of text is 10 mm these are the subheadings t t dash actually it's t t dash is a tangent n n dash is your normal all it, the subheading should be 7 mm all dimensions are in mm scale only to one should be at the right bottom corner it should be 5 mm height of the text should be 5 mm just draw as it is so that you can easily grab 20 marks if you have any doubts means you just type in the comment section and after completion of your diagram you will be getting like this only your curve tangent normal should be drawn with hp pencil it should be very very dark and this dimensioning is wrong uh, no need to dimension this just draw as it is do subscribe to my channel mechanical motivator and press the bell icon then only you will be getting all the videos which i upload thanks for watching this video have a great day